Welcome back. Today we are going to be taking a look at the F5E and why I think it's one of the best for its rank in terms of grinding. America has a lot of vehicles that you need to grind through and this is one of those planes together with the F8E that make your life a lot easier if you want to fly this BR to grind something like the F16 or the Tomcat. First of all, thank you to all my YouTube members and my patrons and everyone looking to get this decal to put on the vehicle. You can do so with the discount link in the description down below. You get a discount, I get a cut and you get a free decal with it. What is this plane like? Well, you are slow and you are going to struggle a little bit with that. But if you lure anyone into a dogfight, especially something like a MiG-21, you can bleed it very easily of its speed and then just kind of take a massive dunk on it. Yes, this is an SPSK, and it's probably the worst MiG-21 you are going to be running into. But you can abuse your energy retention, at least at high speed, versus essentially every vehicle. If you stay around Mach 0.95, or maybe a little bit higher to like Mach 1, your retention is absolutely ridiculous. The thrust away of this thing at high speed is very, very strong. You want to make use of that, and you want to kind of get a lot of position early on by using your energy. The second you go pretty slow... Uh, this plane doesn't get its speed back that fast. It is faster than something like the F5C. But you have to keep in mind that the F5C is lighter. And it will turn a little bit better early on. If it goes prolonged however. This thing will just have a lot more energy. And that's how you want to fly it. Yes it turns well. But the maneuverability in of itself. Isn't that fantastic. It is definitely good. It's definitely very maneuverable. But you want to use the fact that you have a lot of energy retention at high speed. To secure the fight early on. If it goes prolonged. If it goes to these very slow stages. And you do carry a bit too much fuel. You're not going to have that great of an experience. And I'm not saying that you can't win dogfights outright. I'm not saying that you aren't very maneuverable. Because it definitely is. Just keep in mind that your main strength is not your maneuverability. But it's securing your fight early on. Something like an SU-25 right here. We are pretty heavy on fuel. We did reversals in a single turn. And that's because, well, it's just going a lot slower than us. And right now we have the room to kind of go vertical. So I'm going to try to just kind of dogfight this guy. But you can tell that I'm not going particularly fast. And the SU-25 is kind of drifting through the air. Because he's already crit. We aren't really sure how damaged that he is. And I do want to make sure that I don't get to a party by someone else. And at this point the SU-25 is just very slow. And I'm very keen on just dropping back on this guy. And parking my nose directly on his ass. And then all we really need to do is just simply start sniffing it. So we line up the shot. And we do get a shot here. But we just get more hits. We get more hits. And then he kind of drifts out of our guns. And we have to overshoot again and we can do this all day he's really not that much of an issue the issue is that there is a second plane around which is the a5c i think that the su25 is now damaged enough to the point where i can kind of leave him alone because i need to get my speed back up before the a5c comes in and this is because the a5c does have very good retention it does have very good power especially at these lower speeds which is kind of our main weakness so we want to make sure that we don't get energy trapped i lose him in the cloud so i kind of just start preemptively turning and he does turn after us. And the annoying part is here that the SU-25 is actually chasing us. Why is this annoying? Because he's going to make it so that I have to burn more speed and position to get rid of him. The SU-25 then luckily breaks off and the A5 comes in. But we're only going 700 kilometers an hour. Which is less than ideal. But we are also going kind of slow now. So I can go up over his nose and hope that the A5C kind of overshoots. But I notice that this guy is also just dropping a lot of speed to stay behind me so i'm not gonna take this fight right now because it's a fight i am not gonna be winning at least not reliably of course i can if he makes mistakes and it does look like he's kind of inexperienced but i'd rather kind of extend out get a little bit of speed back up and then if he dives on us and picks up a lot of speed of his own he will compress we do turn battle and we can just kind of turn inside of him so i go up, up and over we lose some speed he breaks a flap off and now i have all the position in the world and he's forced to run away. If he tries to pitch up right here. He's going to give us a very easy solution. He does a smart thing. And he runs for the hills. Of all my Dutch people watching. He runs for the mountains. Now this inherently was the right thing to do. However looking backwards. And trying to dodge my shots. Yeah. I'm not sure if it was on purpose. Or if he did it on accident. Either way. It's an L. So hey. I'll take it. And I'll slap it right in the chat. So far we got a kill. We got a lot of crits. We got another crit that got stolen. 
So we only have one kill, but we did affect the outcome of the game thus far. Basically everyone flying around now is basically fine except for the SU-25. And I'm just looking at who I can kind of bully. This thing for the most part is a third party machine if people don't want to dogfight you. Something like an F-104 who is definitely going to be running. I kind of just have to hope that he gets distracted and that I can kind of bounce on him as he's busy with someone else. He said hit him in fire, no big deal, we just want to keep on going straight. But I noticed that the F-104 is kind of setting up an attack and I'm still going pretty quick. So I'm betting on the fact that my retention will get me close enough to the point where I can use my gun. So now if my aim doesn't let me down, I can take this guy down. Otherwise he's just going to extend away. But luckily he starts going somewhat defensively. He gives me a bit of a broadside and we get a crit in. That crit will slow him down severely and then our guns do absolute piss all but eventually we do take his wing off and he starts dying. Same with the SU-22 and now there's two guys left other than these two that are well that one is crit flying in the air. We get an assist for that, don't really mind. I kind of came in and third partied him anyway and here comes the A5. Pink Puss Y, great name. Right now we have some speed. And we're just gonna go head on with him. I want to take this fight. I want to take it right now. I want this fight to be quick. So I entered the fight without afterburners on. I was going about Mac.95. And I'm gonna go vertical. I'm gonna bleed some speed. And try to pin all my performance on the maneuverability. And I do this to get behind the A5C as quickly as I can. And yes. And this is what I meant early on. It's plenty maneuverable. That's not the issue. Your main advantage will be your attention. But you can definitely play go slower get behind someone and get a shot on them to finish a fight quickly and that's what i try to do here because i know that the su-25 is going to be in the background and i know that if it goes prolonged against something like an a5c i don't really want that to happen so i try to get the shot in as early as possible i force a mistake i set him on fire he instantly puts it out because of course that's just our luck today and now he is severely damaged. This still is entirely black because of the new fantastic <coughs> decals. And he's not going to do very well. I'm going to try to chase him down before he reaches the airfield. But I don't have much ammo left. I have 120 rounds. And I also know that I need to kill the SU-25 that's about to take off as well. And they are pretty damn tanky. I know that the damage model got updated. But it's still they're pretty damn annoying to kill. So I'm just going to try and tap fire a little bit. You get a hit and it says lost tail control. I don't need to look at this guy anymore because I know that one way or the other he's gonna end up eating shit. And there's the SU-25 just in time. Pink push Y goes into the ground and we are simply gonna try and fly away from the SU-25 for now and that's mainly to give myself some room between me, him and all his friends with fireworks on the runway strip. Really not my cup of tea. It's not even new year so fireworks should be illegal. But for now, we're just running away and we are just giving ourselves some room. But I also want to finish this fight quickly. I have 7 minutes of fuel, which is more than sufficient to fight something like an SU-25. And as I said in my SU-25 review and every time I cover it, I say that it's pretty maneuverable. And that it holds its energy quite well. However, we are in the F5E. So that doesn't really hold that well. And all I need to do is basically dodge the first merge. And after that, we are completely fine. So we go under him, we drop some flares, SU-25 with his R60s, they don't really do much if we flare it. And we just have so much more entry speed that I really don't need to worry. So what do I do? I go kind of vertical, I then just go horizontal. I'm not gonna take this head on, I'm just gonna dodge out of the way. And as you can tell, this guy is just hanging in the air. So I go straight up again, we can now safely just put all our energy into altitude and position. Because really... He is not going to be doing much and we don't have to worry about our low speed disadvantage quote unquote that much. We are very low on ammo and this guy is basically stalled out so I hope that the missile does something. We get a crit and then we tap fire him a little bit until we Epstein him in the back of his head. And one thing I do know for sure that that guy, well he definitely didn't kill himself. So next game and this is the game that is a little bit more like your average f5 game and i don't mean this in the way that i get six or seven kills every match i mean this in the way that you play it and that the way the match turns out this is of course a basically best case scenario other than the fact that you can probably get more kills but hey i'm here to show you how the plane works and not to flex my kill count so we go behind the kafir 
He hugs a tree, we are in Vietnam after all, it was probably talking to him. And then we pitch up for the second one. This Kefir, I mean, really not much to say, but this is how you get your kills most of the time. If someone that's busy with someone else, you shoot at him. You're probably not going to kill him outright, because the M29s are kind of doo-doo right now. But he's going to be on fire, and he's at least going to be out of the match. And then notice the F4 behind us, or below us I should say. So we pitch down, and he dies the second we lay guns on him. A little bit unfortunate. But again, it is what it is. Another Kefir behind us, the one that isn't on fire, I mean with that. And we are just going to disengage. I'm going to try to keep my speed somewhat. The second I go below 0 0.9, 0 0.85 ish, I kind of want to get my speed back up. And this is not because I'm in a bad spot. Because it's, it's simply, if you do get pounced on at that kind of speed, it's very easy for your enemy to just kind of drain your balls. And I don't want that to happen. I like my balls very much. So I... I would like to just keep them nice and full. So I'm gonna disengage again. And I notice a Kefir that's going relatively slow. He's in the middle of the map. He's gonna try to push for a head on. But he simply doesn't turn well enough. So I just hold the trigger down. I shoot him down. And that's why you don't get your balls drained people. And I just simply carry on towards the Jaguar. And the Jaguar is attacking the A7K. And the A7K is gonna do basically nothing to that guy. Unless he is... Well the Jaguar is disabled. And the A7K is the best pilot you've ever seen. Neither of those things are the case, and the Jaguar takes down the A7K. And I'm now on the 6 of the Jaguar, and the Jaguar really doesn't like getting an F5 on the 6 uh, We do keep our speed a bit better, so I want to make sure I don't overshoot, because that's going to prolong this fight very, very long. And of course, again, this retention is your main strength, not your turning circle. But against the Jaguar, your turning circle is definitely... Well, it's definitely better than the Jaguar, and we want to make sure that he dies right here. I don't want him to overshoot. If he overshoots, it's going to be very annoying to get rid of him. Because he pulls a lot of AOA. And he kind of stands on its engines. It's not the best plane. But it's just going to make the fight a hell of a lot longer. And that's the kind of time I don't want to spend right now. Because there's an SU-22 kind of lurking to pounce on us. And I don't want to go too slow. The SU-22 really isn't that big of a threat. But I just want to make sure that I don't get blindsided by someone that I didn't really see. So the SU-22 kind of leaves us alone. And we are going to then fly... Kind of to the middle of the map. And see if we can again perhaps lick up some free kills. And the Kefir right here is kind of slow. And I'm just going to prime a missile. I'm going to fire the missile at him. The missile is on the way. The guy is crit now. And he's definitely in a flat spin. That is not an accidental steal. That guy has been in my way this entire game. And the first two times that he quote unquote joined my kill right in front of me. No big deal. I mean, he got to him first. No big deal. That last one... Kind of sat wrongly with me. But luckily for us, he... Uh, well, he crashed into the ground. So, calm as a bitch. At this point, we're just clearing up some stragglers. SU-22 kind of flying straight. Really don't know, not doing anything. JA-37. Really not doing anything. We just lets us missile him. And the last one... Finally, we are going to be getting a fight. Otherwise, I wouldn't even be showing you this. SU-22. And the SU-22... It's scary in a certain way. That it's very good at raid fighting. But so are we if we keep our speed. And we are a hell of a lot more maneuverable. The swing wings, if flown right... Can be kind of... It can catch you off guard. But really, if I play my cards right... He is gonna do exactly nothing. So we go vertical. We try to drain his balls again. And as we showed before, getting your balls drained is mostly a recipe for disaster. We are just outside of the AA range. It kind of got me spooked, not gonna lie. But hey, I'll take it. This guy is very slow now. We went vertical, we drained his speed. And now all we need to do is kind of clean him up. Very big profile, plenty of ammo. Hold the trigger down, we get a fire. We hit him some more. He's going to fly within AA range. And we are on the very cusp of the AA range. So I don't want to risk it. So I'm just going to decide to not do it. But it looks like he's going to go straight into the ground. Again, he's going to talk to his trees that are speaking Vietnamese to him. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.